Hello, welcome to the channel, Jamie here from JP Cars and today I've got something a bit different for you. My mum has a issue with an airbag light on her car and I went and read the code the other night and it, I believe, is the clock spring. So this video is going to be how to change your clock spring in your car. The Nissan Micra obviously is going to be specific too, but a lot of other cars are very, very similar. So I think that it'll be a good little video, just a random little video, so that people can have a look and see how easy it is to do yourself. Open the bonnet. And disconnect the battery, tucking the cables out of the way. To take these little bits off here, and then the other side, and that reveals the torques. The same on the other side. Now with this side having been done, this should slide out. I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer because I've only left it a couple of minutes since taking the battery off. In fact, while we're waiting, I'm gonna take out these as well. They should just be normal screws up in here. So there's one on this side for this car and there's two on the opposite side. And then there's one more a bit further down. It's quite a bit deeper. So now we've got a long enough screwdriver, we can go up in here. Now I'm gonna take the airbag off because I've given it enough time. So that's the airbag out. So you've got to press that in, in there. Then I need to take this off. 19 mil, put an extension on it. Oh, f There we go. We've already undone the screws. So I found that's the easiest way. You put a little screwdriver in, push against the old clock spring like that. Top one bottom one you also have to take that off which goes around the key so this is the thing that is causing the issues the clock spring right so we've got a couple of little phillips heads deep in here that's two undone so just in behind this metal clip you push down the plastic it pulls forward white tab then we have this one the race it's over the yellow so you've got to get the gray out first press in these tabs either side of the stalk and push the stalk off of the connector as shown same on the other side push your stalks onto your new clock spring Slot the grey and yellow together and push into the new unit. New clock spring back on, clip in the white connector and the top rear tab. Both screws done up, top trim put back, followed by the bottom. Clipping them together again, key surround back on. Carefully feed the airbag wire back through the wheel and put the wheel back on. Grey connector in, three screws underneath secured. Securing nut put back on the wheel and tightened. Airbag wire clip back in, put in the guide, and airbag put back in place. Secure it with the torque screws, one each side, black tabs put on to cover. Battery on. Time to read the codes and clear. It didn't clear right away, so I switched the key off, switched it back on, and it worked. Turn the key on and off again, and then the light went after clearing those codes using my Solus Pro scanner. Well, my mum is very happy with that. She can now drive her Nissan Micro without worrying that the airbag is either gonna go off, or even worse, potentially, not gonna go off. So she's happy with that. That is how you change the clock spring in a Nissan Micra and it's very similar for most other cars. 